Hello again from magnificent sandstone wonder country, smack bang in the middle of the state of Queensland in the Banana Shire, which is a terrific destination if you're into camping and touring. We're waking up this morning at Lake Calide Retreat, about to jump in the cars and hit the road in search of adventure and discovery. Oh, and this is my mate Frank. Say good day, Frank. But before we do though, it's time to grab a fresh brew from Steve and meet some of the fellow campers of Calide who just love the place. Like Michelle, who is a Bundaberg local and is just crazy about her local brew. So much so, this is how she likes to set up her campsite when she travels. If I was going to award a trophy for the best presented campsite, <laughs> it'd be you. And clearly you've got a love affair with the Bundy Bear. Yes, I do. I just collect it over the years and I collect Bundy rum also, so... Oh dear. Just, yeah, where I go camping, they come too. Well, why are you here? Well, we heard so much about it, and this is our first time being here. And what's not like to like? It's beautiful. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. The, we went red clawing early this morning, checked our pots. They're, they're there, and it's they're just in the abundance. It's it's just fantastic. I'd love to stay and have a tipple, but there's plenty of driving on today's schedule. So it's time to leave Lake Calide for some higher ground. Today we're heading for the testing Razorback track as a shortcut to our final destination. Kruber Tops would have to be one of the best kept secrets. Yeah, look it is, uh, the views are magnificent and um, uh, particularly from this Razorback track side, uh, it's rarely uh, that a tourist gets an opportunity to get up here. So, um, you know, it really is a fantastic experience. And when you get up the top, there's just a whole heap of things that you can go and do. Or if you prefer, you can just uh, camp in, in silence, darkness and serenity. Now, according to the National Parks website, you'll need a high clearance four wheel drive. There is no trailer access from this route because the road has long, steep and narrow sections. And it's a dry weather access route only because there are numerous creek crossings and very steep gradients which are hazardous in wet conditions. Hey Dino, that look familiar? Well mate, that is magnificent. I can see why you would put that on the front cover. This is spectacular country, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Look, we're about halfway up uh, Razorback Track towards Crumbit. Yeah. Um, and it's just a beautiful spot. Have a bit of smoko and take in the serenity. Clearly, um, you know, there are lots of gorges, you know, rises and falls here. And um, when the water's flowing, gee, it must get some, some volume and some current up through here. Oh, look, it does. Uh, you can't come into this area when uh, when we're when we're in flood yeah uh, it's uh, 20 30 foot higher than it is now yeah but uh, when it settles down boy this is what it leaves you it's beautiful well I figured out why they've called it the Razorback track uh, it's everything that the National Park said it would be although it's not a particularly difficult drive you certainly need a vehicle that's well set up for something like this and this Ford Ranger definitely is it's been lifted uh, it obviously has uh, features on it like downhill assist that really add confidence to the driver when you're going up and down some of those ravines. You can just take your foot off the accelerator and off the brake and let the car do its business. And these Cooper STTs are brilliant as well. So if your car's set up right, you'll do this easy. We have clawed our way to an elevation of about 1,100 metres through some fairly testing terrain. And the views up here are, well, take a look for yourself. Crimper Top's lookout is spectacular on any day, but take a look at this weather and this view. Wow, what a spot. The ridge along here is fenced for good reason with sheer drop-offs of hundreds of metres. It's a breathtaking sight. So this is the lookout at Kroomba Tops. I've only been here once before about 10 years ago and I remember it having made such an impression on me I couldn't wait to get back and come back here a second time and it's just as amazing. And I really think this place is not on the map for most people. Most people don't know about it, but it's obviously well worth a look. From here, it's back in the Forby and a 25 kilometre drive along the ridgeline to Kroomba's best kept secret. Beautiful Betsy was an American B-24 Liberator bomber that crashed in stormy weather on the 24th of February in 1945 on a flight from Darwin to Brisbane. 
She laid there undisturbed for almost 50 years until discovered in 1994 by a park ranger who came up this way to check on a controlled burn. Betsy is a tangible link to a far gone time when the world was a very different place. It's a fascinating thing to walk through, isn't it? Oh, uh, look, it is fascinating. And, um, you know, for an aircraft to have such a short service life and then come to such a tragic end uh, in Australia, of all places, um, it's, it's a pretty solemn place to come to. It is. What do we know about uh, the aircraft and the, and the crew and what happened on that fateful night? Oh, look, they believe that um, they'd already um, uh, come over a ridge. And I guess um, what they think is that uh, this particular ridge took them a little bit by surprise and uh, they reacted a little bit too late. Uh, unfortunately, um, it meant that they came straight into the, the side of the ridge and, uh, and the rest is history. I mean, as you can see, um, the wreckage is strewn right across a, a significant area here. Mm. Um, so yeah, a real tragedy. It's amazing to walk amongst much of this wreckage, which is untouched and sitting where it landed during the crash. Beautiful Betsy is perched atop the Kroombit Tops National Park. Check the NPSR website for the deets on how to get there. Kroombit Tops Lookout and the Razorback Track are definitely worth a look. Check with parks to make sure the road is open after weather. ARB has all the aftermarket four-wheel drive gear to get you there and back. The Banana Shire Council has all the details on this and other favourite campsites in the region. Head to sandstonewonders.com and the OQTA website is also worth a look.